Isang magandang araw po sa ating mga viewers. Ito po si Bray ng Bray Tangonen Vlog at isa po akong vlogger, isang dad, isang driver, isang rider na nag upload ng content on my channel almost twice a week. So I vlog about um, cars, uh, motorcycle stuff, tips and uh, tricks that you can do and almost anything under the sun. So um, to get my content, please subscribe, like, comment and for you to get notified about my upcoming videos or coming videos please do hit the bell button para ma-notify kayo agad maraming maraming salamat at magsimula na po tayo sa ating vlog about changing oil on your MSI 125 so ang kailangan po natin sa pag-change ng oil sa ating MSI 125 ay isang 12mm close wrench isang 10mm T-wrench Kailangan natin ng funnel, yung Yama Lube, at yung Blue Core Oil na nabili natin sa Yama sa may 20th Street. So, simula na po tayo. Okay. So, initially, ang plano ko po sana dito, since I've used uh, Blue Core Oil before, and I left 20 ml on the bottle that I previously used kasi 800 ml lang po ang pwede natin ilagay sa ating MSI 125 is I was gonna put 200 ml on that bottle para kapag nakaipon ako ng let's say apat is makakaparang free change oil na rin sa akin pero nung buksan natin yung bottle ng bagong bilin natin na blue core oil um, medyo na surprise ako Kasi as you can see here, nung nilagay ko na yung funnel dun sa may uh, old bottle natin is wala. Kulay blue na ang oil na nilalabas dun sa bagong bili natin na uh, blue core oil na fully synthetic from Yamaha. So I was quite surprised. I don't know if I can mix the two up and I'm not really sure if I could. So sinet aside muna natin yung used oil natin as you can see there it has a blue color more like of a blue green color if you ask me so binalik muna natin yung lid and uh, we're gonna do the change oil without transferring the 20 ml to that old bottle na meron tayo na nice stock up na luma see as you can uh, see right here the one that um, has the, the color, uh, the original color of the oil is the one on the left. And the one with the blue core, blue oil, is the one on the right. So don't get it confused, okay? So, ang una natin gagawin is maglalagay tayo ng pan. In my case here, naglalagay ako ng pan sa ilalim ng aking MSI 125 na plastic. Because previously, when nag-changed ako ng oil do sa... MSI 125 ko um, almost uh, sakto yung 800 ml dyan sa plastic container na yan. So I'm guessing na if magiging parang almost hitik or, or almost puno yung uh, plastic container na yan eh, 800 ml lang din ang ibibigay ng, ng scooter so it means na hindi siya nagbawas ng oil na ginamit natin. By the way, uh, I use this uh, as a daily commuter to work. Uh, I come from uh, Pituason to BGC, Net Plaza to be more exact. And uh, travel ko to, and f uh, to Net Plaza is 10 kilometers and then pabalik is 12 kilometers. So all in all, ang biyahe ko ng balikan is uh, 22 kilometers. So that's how I travel every day. So, 22 kilometers. So, we're gonna use that 12 millimeter na close wrench. I use the close wrench para hindi bumilog yung screw na ginagamit natin sa ilalim. But sometimes I put it too hard or too tight. So, ang gagawin natin dito is um, kukuha tayo ng martilyo at pupukpukin natin. It goes um, like that. Oh. So, clockwise ang pagpukpuk. Dahan-dahan lang, hindi na kailangan na sobrang lakas. We just need it to move a little bit so that we could unscrew that bolt from the drain hole that we have for that motorcycle. 
And as I can see, it dripped on my hand. Hindi pa ganun ka dumi yung oil. Um, I used it for about 1,500 kilometers. So, yan yung pangatlong change oil. Yung una kasi, hindi pa siya masyadong nagamit due to wala pang plaka. And um, it almost only ran for about 200 kilometers before the, for, the first change oil. The second change oil came on 1,000 kilometers. Yun na yung gumamit na ako ng blue core. Tapos yung next change oil after that, which is this one, is 1,500 kilometers. So basically, ang tinakbo niya na since then is uh, it's a good uh, about... Um, 2,700 kilometers. So while waiting for that to drip, kunin na natin yung ating 10 millimeter T wrench and maglagay tayo ng plastic cup sa ilalim ng ating drain para sa gear oil. Okay na yung plastic cup kasi konti lang naman yun. 100 ml lang naman na sa loob niya. And usually, the other guys say that it's uh, 2,000 or 5,000 kilometers bago palitan. But uh, since I'm still in the breaking period, I like to change it every now and then just to get the, the residue out. Yung mga parts na nag-grind sa loob para matanggal sila kagad. And then, I'll probably do that long change um, after a year or so. So, that being said, ayan, tanggal natin yung bolt. Ingatan niyo yung pagtanggal para hindi ma-loose thread. And then, as you can see, medyo malinis pa yung ating gear oil. Ayan, ilapit natin ng konti. Medyo maputi pa yung oil na ginagamit sa kanya. And um, some other uh, riders tend to use the remaining 200 ml dun sa change oil nila sa, sa ating uh, uh, oil na ginagamit sa makina. Just comment down below if you're one uh, of those who do that. Uh, give us feedback para malaman natin if it's okay or not. So, what I'm doing here is I'm putting the rest of uh, the used oil dun sa ating uh, Coca-Cola container. Kasi 1.5 liters yan and uh, 2 bottles of 800 ml is equal to 1.6. So, kikita natin dyan, since marami akong natapon sa sahig, napaka-hosay, di ba? Um, na hindi naman masyado siguro nabawasan yung makina natin. As some feedback goes, yung MSI 125 is nagbabawas ng langis. So, isa yan sa mga gusto kong malaman since some owners say that um, nagbabawas yung kanila. Um, somewhat about um, 2017 or 2018 model yung nakuha natin 2019 model let's see if it's the same I'll post it if uh, ever nag-change oil na ako ng gano'n na lumabas so ayan binalik na natin yung drain plug so make sure that you put it in nice and tight hindi uh, not too tight because you might uh, do loose thread hindi lang dun sa labas ng bolt hindi pa, kundi pati dun sa loob same thing goes with this um, bolt sa may uh, uh, gear oil. Don't tighten it too much because um, some feedback suggests that uh, when you tighten it too, too much, nababali yung, ano, nababali yung bolt. So, iwasin natin mangyari yun kasi hassle yun. So, open na natin yung kanyang cap para malagyan na natin yung 100 ml ng Yama Lube gear oil. There you go. Make sure you squeeze. Para syempre makuha natin lahat ng nasa loob niya. Sayang naman kung may uh, matitira. So, leave it for a few seconds. And squeeze again. And squeeze again hanggang sa wala nang matira doon sa loob. May nakita rin ako sa mga feedbacks na gumagamit ng dalawa na 100 ml, na parang 200 ml yung ginagamit nila para talaga daw nakalubog. For those who use that, please do uh, comment down below. Give us feedback regarding that so that we could uh, try and do a review later on. Kung okay nga ba to? Aantayin ko po ang inyong comment. And while we're waiting for that, please do subscribe. 
and hit the bell button to get notifications of my videos when it comes out. Okay, so tinanggal na natin yung takip ng salagayan ng oil and yung sa funnel since uh, parang wala, wala akong plastic tube na ginagamit nung iba para madiret-diret yung mailagay yung oil medyo mahirap itong process na to kasi yung aking funnel or ang ating funnel ay hindi siya vertical vertically upright medyo nakaside siya ng konti so ang tendency is matatapon yung ating isinasali na oil papunta sa ating engine so let's make sure na malagyan natin siya ng 800 ml lalo na ngayon na yung oil na ginagamit natin eh, medyo mahirap siyang tignan dun sa may uh, parang uh, transparent area dun sa may bottle kung paano mo malalaman kung ilang ml na lang yung natitira dahil nagpalit siya ng color hindi na siya ganun ka dark medyo nahirapan akong tignan but eventually um, I think and I hope so na sana 800 ml yung nailagay ko dun sa akin mo to Alright, so again, uh, haba tayo naghahantay. Um, so for those who have already tried this uh, oil on their MSI 125 or their Mios, any scooter that uh, you might uh, have or have used this oil on, please do comment down below. Share your experiences para malaman natin kung um, okay ba tong oil na to. Because um, from my experience, I've tried... Um, several different oils for my motorcycles. I had a Rouser. I had a CB110 back then, back in the day. Yun yung aking unang motor. And um, use oils such as uh, AX7. So, ayan. Um, tinignan ko yung level ng oil. At okay naman. Naka-level naman siya. Sasara na natin siya. Nice and uh, tight. Huwag masyadong tight para hindi malustrad yung plastic and then wipe it off para hindi mga moy pag start na natin. And, hindi natin marinig sa video pero it started out good. Medyo nagkaroon ako ng konting vibration sa kaha ng motor ko. But it's, uh, it's all good. Maybe kailangan lang ng oil na mag-circulate para malubricate nga lahat ng mga parts. And uh, if I can do a video, uh, probably a week after, one experience could eat, I'm gonna try and do that. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications.